fourth as the Kings snap a six-game road losing spot in the league. Coach Jim Calhoun concerned. And UConn attacking John Gwynn hits it, and the Huskies closing to within a point. The steal, Carlton screen for the visitors, playing great defense. Quentin Burton, though, is rejected on the other end, but screen. Johnny on the spot behind the three-point strike, lets it fly. And that keeps the Friars close. And Doug Hennepel, who would later star in the game, stripping the ball, he leads the Big East in steals. Tate George to Scott Burrell for the slam. UConn had a 12-point lead, but they went cold. They couldn't score for seven minutes, and that's when the Friars began to come back. Quentin Burton for three, a minute and a half to go. Providence was up, and uh, here's Conlon missing behind the line. But Murdoch follows it with three seconds to go to tie it up. Murdoch had nine points in overtime for the Friars. But the Dove. And the Dove, Hennepel, the three-pointer with two seconds to go in the extra period. 75-72, UConn wins it. The Huskies go to 10-3 in the Big East play, and they're a half game ahead of the Georgetown Boiling. The rivals from Bloomington, Indiana, and the Boilermakers get it inside. Keith Scheffler shooting over 70% from the board. You can see why. He gets those little guineas. Purdue by 11. Tony Jones, a long pass. The solo stuff by Chucky White. White had a dozen in the first half. And Bobby Knight, well, I guess you could say he was a little upset on the sidelines. This loser's down by 15 at the break. Purdue blowing it open in the second. Scheffler is there. Inside for two more, 18 points for him, eight rebounds. Boilermakers up by 18, and things got even worse for IU. Tony Jones, the steal and jam. Bob Knight was uh, a little bit bummed out, you could say, as uh, Purdue rolls to a Big Ten win. 72-49, they have swept the series in football and basketball this season, so there's something to do in the third. Rangers on the attack. Up it goes.